Hey guys, welcome back to the Cypress series. In today's video, I will show you how we can perform browser navigation in Cypress. So I'll take the same demo website, which is this open card. So let's say if you want to click on any of this uh, tabs, if I click on software, so it takes me to a new page. Over there, I can see uh, I have this text, which is uh, there are no products to the, to the list in the category. Okay, so once you're on this page, you can verify if you are on that page or not. And then to simulate the browser navigation. So let's say you want to go back to the last page. So what we do, we click on this arrow, right? But this is not a DOM. This does not come under DOM element. So we cannot inspect it using, you know, CSS or we cannot write cy.get command for this. So what we have to do, so in Cypress, we have a command cy.go. So using that, you can perform browser simulation, which is basically if you want to go back or if you want to go forward, you can use cy.co. So let's go to the code and Visual Studio code and write a sample code for this. So let me go back over there. So first of all, my scenario was to click on the software. So this is uh, software. So I'll, I'll go to the home page and I'll find the CSS for this. So just do right click and inspect. I can see this is a text. So I will use cy.contains. So using cy.contains, I will enter my text and I'll perform dot click. So by clicking on this, it will take me to a new page. And once you're on the new page, how you can validate that? So in Cypress, uh, we can use assertions. So Cypress by default comes with uh, assertions, chai assertion. You don't have to install any plugin for that. So you can, to perform any assertion, you can use dot should. So let me go back to the website. So if I click on the software and let's say we have this text, I want to validate if this text is present on the page or not. So what I'll do, I have to find the locator for this. So again, this is a text. I can directly use cy.contains, right? So cy.contains and I will enter my text, whatever text was there. So in order to perform assertion, I will use dot should. So inside dot should I will check this element is this text is present or not. So I'll be using B dot visible. So what it will do, it will actually check for this element on the page and it will check if it is visible or not. So this is how you validate if uh, let's say you are clicking on a button, it is taking to a new page and then on the page we are validating we are on the correct page or not, right? So this is our basic scenario. So the next thing is, if you want to go back to the last page like this, so what we'll do, like I mentioned, we will use cy.go command and we will pass back. So for back simulation, you have to do cy.go back and uh, uh, let's run our test case and see how it is working. So let me open the terminal. So npx cypress open. So click end to end testing, click the browser and select to test case, which is browser navigation. So now it's loading the page, clicking on software and it validated if my text is present or not. And then it actually took me back to the main home page. So in the end, you can see I am on the main home page, open card. Fine. So what we can do, let's say if you want to go back to the software page. So instead of doing dot click again on software, performing these actions again, what we can do, we can perform the browser navigation using cy.go forward. So this is, this means you can actually go back to the last page, you can forward it. So for example, for example, let's say this one. So I opened, I already opened my software tab. So if I click on the arrow, it will take me to this page. So once you have performed the action, it will be stored there in the browser. So you can perform backward navigation or forward navigation. It will take you to the uh, provided whatever navigation you want. Let's say backward, it will take you to the home page. Forward is for the software. So let's see again. And after forward also, we will validate, we'll assert, let's say we are on the correct page or not. So let's rerun, rerun our test case. So I will uh, rerun it from here. So we can see 
it actually took us back to the software page and then we are validating also this text is present or not right so there is uh, apart from cy.go back we can also use cy.go with integer value which is minus 1 so minus 1 also performs backward uh, simulation only right and we will use cy.go minus for backward and again we will validate this one so guys there are two ways to perform backward validation one is cy.go back and one is cy.go minus 1 and for the forward one so we have cy.go forward and if i want to perform forward navigation again so i can do cy.go1 so the this is uh, with integer this is not a string whereas this back and forward this is with string so there are two ways to handle it cy.go with a this, this is a uh, first way to perform backward navigation and this is my first way to perform the forward navigation right so two ways are there to perform backward or uh, forward navigation so this is generally asked in interview so they will ask you how you can perform backward or forward simulation navigation in uh, cyprus so you have to pro tell them using cy.go and you can tell them both the ways because it gives a good impression like this uh, candidate knows uh, end-to-end -end command this and candidate really knows how we can do the navigation using two different ways so if you know more than one way it actually gives you a leverage and uh, it you know makes a good impression on the interviewer so let's go back to our code and test run it and rerun our test case so we'll see how many times it is performing backward and forward okay so it got failed because okay so actually i clicked on cy.go minus one so it took me back to the home page so we do not have this text on the home page this is only on the software page so uh, this was a mistake let me rerun the test case so now you see it is it is actually getting passed so what is our use case first of all we clicked on software then we click back it took us back to the home page using cy.go back then we again uh, performed cy.go forward which is forward navigation on the page where we again validated the text for the on the software page and then we again performed cy.go using the backward navigation using cy.go minus which is this one and then again the forward so we are performing two times forward navigation and two times the backward navigation and we are actually validating also if we are on the correct page or not so yeah these are the two ways to perform browser navigation so i hope you uh, understand the logic so uh, from the interview perspective also this is very important although very small command but uh, often people candidates they get confused they uh, when, when they are asked in an interview how we can perform browser navigation they sort of they actually think of uh, performing any providing some other code but uh, this is a simple command which you should remember so i hope you understand and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel